Welcome back, and if you're just now waking up, let's get a check of the weather that you can expect today. Sounding a little bit like it's going to be all over the place for the next few days, but hopefully looking good today, Jeff. Yeah, and, and I actually uh, have a Thanksgiving Day forecast. Looks much better than just yesterday and the day before. Okay, let's take a look at temperatures because i got to talk to you a little bit about temperatures. You walk outside this morning and you think, oh, we're on our way to a warm day because we're in the 60s this morning. At the same time, a cold front is coming through. So in the 50s out in Breckenridge and Graham right now, 53 degrees. It, temperatures were in the 60s overnight there. So the temperatures dropping because the front has come through and the same thing is going to happen to the Metroplex. Front's going to come through and the temperatures are going to drop. Our rain chances today are pretty much in our eastern counties. We've been talking about this the last couple days. We're talking about showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two, nothing severe, but the much better chance of rain is really going to be from about Navarro County in the 45 corridor and off to the east of there. That's this afternoon. The cold front today that comes through sweeps through mid morning across the Metroplex. You will notice that the winds will pick up from the north and see the little bit of green here in front of it. These are just passing showers here. A few rumbles of thunder, like I said, as it gets further to the east. But this is at the noon hour. The fronts come through and we have clouds. We have a brisk north wind. Temperatures are going to try to recover into the mid 60s and then start dropping in the afternoon as this cold air continues to pour in and we'll be in the low 60s by the end of the day and you see that front well off to the east of us as we'll still have the clouds around again. We're going to be breezy, so that's why I'm saying I, I need you to bring that jacket with you through the course of the afternoon if you're out and about getting some shopping in, some grocery shopping for Thanksgiving coming up because these wind gusts are going to be in that 25, 30 mile per hour range, and it's a north wind with the clouds, so it is definitely not going to be a warm day. Notice these winds stay up through the overnight hours. I know a lot of people are starting to hit the road, and if you're starting to travel at the end of the day into the evening hours, yeah, it's going to be a little breezy. Here's your pet forecast. First great picture of Benson sent in by Reagan. You can see that beautiful sky behind it, but you look at that face, you go, I want to walk that dog. That's a beautiful animal and we've got temperatures, like I said, drop a little bit. So if you're out walking your pet here this afternoon, make sure to dress accordingly. Not bad, just in the 60s and breezy. The Cowboys are playing today, but not here. Uh, we're at 68 degrees right now in Arctic and they're playing here, Arrowhood's Arrow. Had, uh, stadium. I don't know why. I guess I just cannot say any opponent stadium. Uh, we have temperatures in the 50s in Kansas City today with sunshine and temperatures will be cool at the end of the game. OK, back to here. 62 degrees tomorrow. OK, that's the cool day heading into Thanksgiving. 70 on Tuesday, 71 on Wednesday. No travel problems. A little breezy, especially Wednesday, where it'll be very windy, in fact, as this front approaches. So here's Wednesday morning. Here comes the front. Uh, rain chances start to show up at the end of the evening and in through the overnight hours. It's a 60% chance of rain and thunderstorms heading into Thanksgiving Day because we have this front coming towards us. So here we are on Thanksgiving Day. Rain, especially the eastern half, will still be around on Thanksgiving Day. If you're out early heading to the east, you could be running into some of this rain and then it's just going to be windy and cooler on Friday, but it'll be dry seven day forecast. There it is on the other side of that front. we got a little bit of rain on Black Friday in the morning hours and it's in the 50s both Thanksgiving and Friday and then Saturday dry and a little warmer.